Chapter 17 I put my armor on after I stopped being hungry and feeling terrible. It required some adjustments before matching my new, larger body. The little blue female in the back of my thoughts was still there but seemed reluctant to deal with me. I had to dig deep to even find her. I felt as if my armor were judging me. The didact observed, blinking with slow dignity. He rearranged himself on the floor and turned his back to the steadiness of the stars. The armor's broken, I said. You're different. The Ancilla knows that, but she won't cater to you. You're no longer a manipular. You have to listen better. The didact seemed remarkably patient. Perhaps he remembered his own brevet mutation all those thousands of years ago. The domain. I don't feel anything. I would say that is also your fault, but perhaps not this time. I, too, have difficulty accessing the domain at present. It is a mystery for now. Perhaps in time we will explore together and see if it can be solved. Disappointed, I stood up, performed a quick diagnostic on my armor, watched everything chart up clear and fine, then focused, trying to will my thoughts to be more mature. Still, I couldn't get the Ancilla to cooperate. She came and went in different places in my head, but would not do anything I asked, perhaps because my internal speech was garbled. Where did the humans go? I asked the didact when I was sure this process was getting nowhere. I locked them in a room with plenty of food they seemed to like. Why? They asked too many questions. What sort of questions? How many humans I've killed, that sort of thing. Did you answer? No. The librarian filled them full of knowledge they can't handle. They're like me. Yes, they're like you. But they seem to actually be listening. They just don't like what they're hearing. 